My name is Joy Norzi, and I'll be explaining how I shade character spaces in ambient lighting using Clip Studio Paint. When I say ambient lighting, I mean generally adding shading and lighting that looks like there isn't really a specific light source. I use this to add facial features and details to characters' faces. There are plenty of ways to shade and color faces, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to show really basic techniques I use that digital artists can start using or people who just want to add a few extra details to their sketches can use. Starting with the character on the right, I'm using a fill pen to color a flat skin tone underneath my sketch layer. In the bottom right, I have a bunch of layers for different parts of my drawing. My rule of thumb is to make separate layers for almost anything and everything. It can be overwhelming, but it keeps things organized. I'm using a soft pencil brush to start shading. There's a gradient on the neck, shading on the side of the face, the sides of the head, between the brow bone, and on the bridge of the nose. I've done all this, but I'm not done yet. A way to get your shading to look less flat and fuzzy is to create hard shadows and hard highlights. I'm using a combination of a hard and soft eraser to make certain details pop. I erase a little shading at the corner of the eyes, the neck, and add hard shadows under the nose, neck, and jaw. Hard shadows come from objects being closer or farther from what it's casting a shadow on. The closer it is, the harder the shadow. The neck will be a place where both hard and soft shading is seen because the chin is casting a hard shadow while the cylindrical shape of the neck is making a soft shadow. demo on shading lips for people with darker skin. Use a pinkish color for the bottom lip and a darker color than their skin tone for the upper lip. I'm going to use another method for this next character. Instead of making shadows on darker complexions, I add highlights to show that the skin is reflective. So instead I'm using a bright brown color with the soft pencil again on areas of the face to make them pop out. So this would be the forehead, nose, bridge, cheeks, chin, and middle of the neck. After the soft lighting is added, I again use the technique where I erase with a hard eraser and color with a hard pencil to diversify the shading. I'm going to go back to the male character and add some finishing touches. I'm erasing a little on the right side of the neck and making a sharp highlight on the left side of the jaw. I think this adds a little more dimension to the lighting. Here I'll just quickly show how shading can change a character's appearance. You'll notice that the shading here is generally much softer, and depending on where you place what, the face can look completely different.
I'll do a different highlighting scheme for my second female character too. to play around and color different parts of character faces to bring out different features. Hope you all found this helpful. Thanks!